YouTube, Shuki here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Trading Card Game XY Steam Siege Promo Blister Packs. So as always, we have two single pack uh, blisters as well as two of the uh, triple pack blisters, so pretty much par for the course. All four of them are promo releases, so I picked up all four of them. There's no variant releases this time around. So that is really cool. So each uh, single pack comes with one booster pack of XY Steam Siege, a promo card, and a coin. While you guessed it, the triple packs come with three packs of Steam Siege, promo card, and a coin. So this time around, we have Azelf and a Rayquaza, or Rayquaza, depending on how you want to say it. I say Rayquaza. Uh, here's the triple packs, and the single packs contain Lucario and Floet. So pretty cool. So let's, uh, without further ado, go ahead and get these open and take a look. Alright, so here we go. The coins included are pretty much random based on, at least at my locations of Walmart, I picked these up at single packs are $4.99 and the triple packs are $11.99. Now, uh, the assortment they had at my location were the uh, Rayquaza coin, Mega Rayquaza, rather, uh, the Hoenn Starters coin, this one is in gold, uh, the Pikachu coin, also in gold. And the Primal Kyogre coin, which is in a nice sparkly blue. So those were the four available coins that were in my area. I don't know if different regions are going to have different coins or not, or if they're batch sorted or what it is, but uh, these were pretty much the four coins I had to pick from, so I made sure I got one of each. Not that it really matters at the end of the day. <laughs> so here are the promo cards. Uh, here is the Floet XY139 Aromatherapy. Uh, heal 30 damage to each of your Pokemon, magical leaf 20 plus, flip coin passes attack does 20 more damage, and heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Pretty standard, it might even be a reprint of other Floets, but the card art's really pretty. Nice hollow effect on there with uh, Curlia and Spritzy in the card art as well. So that's pretty neat, I dig that. A uh, nice little fairy type card. Lucario here, also with some pretty smashing art, doing an uppercut of some sort. Uh, XY 140. Bone Rush, uh, flip a coin until you get tails, does tactics 30 time times the number of heads. I don't think that was an English sentence, but you got the point. Mock Claw is infected by resistance. The Triple Packs give us XY141 Rayquaza. Dual Claw, flip two coins, does tactics 20 damage times the number of heads. And Dragon Blast 120, discard one fire and one lightning attach to this Pokemon. It's nothing too crazy. And then Azelf here uh, is XY142. Uh, Shining Eyes, put the two damage counters into your opponent's Pokemon, there's any damage counters on it already. And Mind Bent for 30, your opponent's Pokemon is now confused. Really awesome art on all of these, uh, for sure. Uh, again, none of them are really all that useful in terms of being playable cards. But um, they all got cool artwork, so collectors have a little bit of something to enjoy. Alright, so we have eight packs here to open up. Let's go ahead and start with the Floet pack. And see what we got. Um, haven't opened a whole lot of Steam Siege on my channel. I just had that one video so far. So I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some cool stuff in here. Uh, we also have the Elite Trainer box uh, popping up sometime pretty soon. I still need to buy it and record it, but that'll be the next thing that we tackle here on the channel. So there's Tangela, Joltik, Larvesta. It's always weird kind of seeing the grass type Larvesta. Uh, Rufflet, Ponyta, Anorith. A Ninja Boy, really awesome and useful supporter card. Lets you flop your basic Pokemon uh, in your active position. Just one of your basic Pokemon in play. So it doesn't have to be active. Really awesome. A Rapidash. Oh, nice. A Talonflame Break. Flare Blitz, 150. Discard all fire attached to this Pokemon, which isn't bad because it's only two fire to do that 150. So pretty cool. Plus, Talonflame in this set is a colorless type that you can start with as your basic Pokemon uh, if you get it. Hopefully, we pull one in here to show off. Uh, so It's really cool, and it actually is a pretty viable combo. You can uh, start with it, attach an energy, use Gale Winds, find some things that you want, then break Evolve on the next turn, do Flare Blitz for 150 on turn 2, so pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, not a bad start at all. Do we got some sleeves over here? I think we do. There we go, all nice and sleeved. So now, now we have this wonderful start, it is on to the Lucario pack. Can Lucario keep up? I don't know, we'll see. We have Sneasel with Neon Roll, Neon Mega, Apom, Clauncher, Fletchling, Azumarill, one of the cool dual type Pokemon, Persian, Blaffy, 
Galvantula, another of the dual type Pokemon. A pretty helpful card, actually. Uh, does 3 damage to 2 of your opponent's Pokemon, so it's really awesome to pick off Night March Pokemon. Uh, but uh, Night March is getting rotated, so it doesn't particularly matter. But I was playing a little bit in Worlds just because of that attack. And there we go, there's the Talonflame I wanted to show you guys. Just a normal, rare, non hollow card. Uh, Gale Winds, if you uh, start Arrow Blitz, is the uh, attack I was thinking of. Gale Winds, uh, if you have it in your hand at the start of the game, you can play it as your active Pokemon. You don't have to evolve from a uh, Flitchinder to uh, actually like do the normal evolution line. You just flat out start with it. And that's a really cool effect. Arrow Blitz for 40, uh, you can search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand. That is a priceless effect. And to be able to like go second, start with that thing, it's got 130 HP, he ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, and Arrow Blitz, you do 40 damage uh, and search for two cards, it's pretty amazing. Uh, so, um, it's obviously a very techie sort of card, I mean, it's... You like you play four of it, you waste four slots, and it's only v viable once. So unless you uh, actually like build a Talonflame deck that has Splitchinders and Fletchlings and stuff in it, it's not going to help you too much. But uh, it's still a really cool gimmick that I uh, kind of want to try. So here is a Drifloon, a Meryl. Can you hear that heavy rain outside right now? Uh, Shellos, Mantine, Clink, Rapidash. Nuzleaf, Braviary, oh, a Hydragon Break, Calamity Blast, a 150, that just seems to be a running theme with these breaks. Discard three energy cards, such as Pokemon, this deck does 50 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Pretty neat effect, um, it's kind of messy in terms of having to discard so many cards. You would have to play it with the Hydreigon that I think is unfortunately getting rotated. Yun Mega is actually our rare, which is another awesome card, because Sonic Vision... If you have four cards in your hand, you can ignore all energy required to use Assault Boom or Yon Mega Breaks Attack if you break Evolve. Awesome card. Jumping back to this, uh, I think there's a Hydreigon. I think it's getting rotated. I think it was in uh, plas or Plasma uh, Phantom Forces that uh, you could put uh, Dark Energy back on. Uh, it, that would kind of be, to me at least, the only way that uh, that Hydreigon's playable. But, ah oh well. Ah, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is the Rayquaza triple pack, by the way. Uh, Clink, Ponyta, Ponyard, Oshawa, Rufflet, Claw Fossil Anorith, a Dua, a Braviary, a reverse greedy dice, a really stupid item card. If you draw it as a prize, you can flip a coin, and if it says you take one more prize, it's really dumb. And yes, 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 Volcanion EX. This is pretty much the deck I want to build from this set. Besides Yun Mega, I really want to build Yun Mega too. Um, unfortunately, it's not a full art, but look at how pretty this the normal EX is. Um, the dual typing, you got fire and water. Uh, steam up, you discard a fire from your hand and do 30, your basic fire Pokemon do 30 more damage. Awesome uh, way to power up Volcanion EX, the normal basic Volcanion, Flareon EX. Um, I've seen Pyro and Talonflame variants as well. Uh, it, it, it's a really awesome uh, card for sure. I dig it a lot. So I'm really, really looking forward to Plus Volcanic Heat already does 130 on its own. That's knocking out most non-basic, or non, non EX Pokemon, that's what I meant to say. And if you need a little bit more damage, you just discard a Fire Energy and boost up your Volcanion EX's attack. So really awesome. I'm really glad we pulled that. I think I have two now. So I'm on my way to building that deck. Alright, last pack of the Ray Quaza. Triple pack. Can we get something good in this pack too? That'd be pretty crazy if we did. <laughs> Alright, we have a Shellos, a Mankey, climbing up that building, a Fungus, a Bergmite, Joltik, Nuzleaf, Steelix, Spirit Link, Clang, Braviary, and a Toxicroak. But that's not too bad. I want to build something fun with Toxicroak. Poison Enzyme prevents it from getting damaged or. Prevent all, yeah, prevent all damage. Done the Toxicroak by Poison the Pokemon. 
And Poison Jab, of course, poisons your Pokemon. Uh, there's an Ariados that will still be in the format, I believe, that will poison your Pokemon for free. And <laughs> we also have the Toxa, the uh, Krogunk in here that does additional poison. It's like you're, the, you, when you use the poison, it takes like 30 damage, and then it can stack again and do 50 or whatever. It's actually really cool. So uh, I want to try something fun with that. I don't think it's like good enough to be like super competitive, but it's something I just want to try to uh, have fun with at League or something like that. So got Mankey, Bungus, Bergamite, Joltik, Mantine, Nuzleaf, Steel Spirit Link, another Clang, Duat, and Jump Luff. All right, nothing too wild or crazy there. I don't have a whole lot to say about Jump Luff. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera on accident. All right, the uh, Azelf pack really needs to step it up. <laughs> we got a Litleo, Sneasel, Meryl, Yanma. Fletchling, Greedy Dice, Duat, Gardevoir Spirit Link, a Reverse Ambipom, and an Avalug, which is actually kind of a fun uh, mill card. Uh, discard the top three cards of your deck for each water energy you discard. Uh, in this way, discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. You can discard nine cards in one turn if you just flood your deck with water energies. Um, Yellow Swallow put up a really funny video. Uh, it's basically you... Get set up in mill or you lose, pretty much, because Avalog kind of stinks otherwise. But <laughs> it, it looked really fun. Uh, we got Meryl, Shellos, Mantine, Clink, Mankey, Klefki. Uh, Wonderlock is a really long ability I'm not going to read. But basically you put, attach it uh, to any of your Mega Evolved, or no, your, your Pokemon, and it uh, prevents damage from Mega Evolutions, I believe. Gardevoir, Nuzleaf, a reverse Nidorino, and a Bastiodon. I don't even know what you do, bro. So that uh, is that. The Azelf's pack really did not pull its weight, but thankfully the Rayquaza pack more than made up for it with uh, Volcanion EX and Hydragon Break, as well as the Talonflame Break that we pulled earlier in... There, so three really awesome cards out of this. Not too bad. Obviously, it could have been a lot better, but the cards that we did get, particularly Volcanion EX, really do excite me. I am glad to pull as many Volcanion EXs as I can because I want to play that really bad. So there you have it. Uh, like I said, the single packs are $4.99 for a pack, a promo, and a coin. The triple packs are $11.99 for three packs, a promo, and a coin. So it's a pretty good deal um, all around, uh, regardless of how you look at it. I mean, you're only paying a little bit extra for the promo and the coin compared to the price of a normal booster pack at places like Target. So, awesome! Uh, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and start, start getting working on uh, some Steam Siege-related decks because I am really far behind uh, in terms of trying to build decks and get cards uh, for, from Steam Siege. So, uh, Like I said, next time we'll be taking a look at the Elite Trainer Box, most likely. We also have the Victini uh, Mythical Pokemon Collection coming up on the Horizon 2. And I think maybe the Pikachu EX one is already coming out pretty soon in the middle of September. So all sorts of cool stuff on the horizon. Uh, like I said uh, in one of my vlogs, Steam Siege has just been a really slow set uh, in terms of promo boxes. There's just not that much to open up just yet. Uh, so hopefully things will pick up in a little bit and we'll start opening up more and more of this set. So that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and bless that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.